uh, complained bitterly about the super PAC, the outside groups that were lodging charges against you, bringing up uh, some old issues against you. And now you have a former campaign spokesman who is preparing attacks against Governor Romney, calling him, quote, a predator for his involvement at the investment company Bain. Uh, you agreed with somebody who said that Governor Romney was a liar when he didn't take account for those attacks against you. Are you consistent now as you're preparing to launch against Governor Romney? Sure. How so? I'm consistent because I think you ought to have fact-based campaigns that talk about the records. Calling him a predator is not over the line? Well, I think you have to look at the film, which I haven't seen, but if you look at the New York Times article, I think it was on Thursday, uh, you would certainly have to say that Bain at times engaged in behavior where they looted a company leaving behind 1,700 unemployed people. That's the New York Times, that's not me. So I think, uh, the, I mean, one of the ads I complained about got four Pinocchios from the, Wall Street, from the Washington Post. Now, to, to get four Pinocchios in a 30-second ad means there's virtually nothing accurate right. in 30 seconds. Speaker, you, you, you decry the Washington establishment, and you've just talked about the New York Times and the Washington Post. You have agreed with the characterization that Governor Romney is a liar. Look at him now. Do you stand well, by that claim? Sure, Governor, I wish you would calmly and directly state it is your former staff running the PAC, it is your millionaire friends giving to the PAC, and you know some of the ads are aren't true. Just say that, straightforward. Well, of course it's former staff of mine, and of course they're people who support me. They wouldn't be putting money into a pack that supports me if they were people who support me. And with regards to their ads, I haven't seen them, and as you know, under the law, I can't direct their ads. Oh, speaker, uh, hold on a second. I, I can't direct their ads. If there's anything in them that's wrong, I hope they take it out. I hope everything that's wrong is taken out. But, but let me tell you this. The, the ad I saw said that, uh, that you've been forced out of the speakership. That was correct. Uh, it said that, uh, uh, that you'd sat down with Nancy Pelosi and, and argued for, for a, a climate change bill. That was correct. Uh, it said that you called the, the uh, uh, Ron Paul's, ex Ron Paul, Paul Ryan's plan to, to provide uh, Medicare reform. <laughs> A, a, a right-wing social engineering plan. Uh, it said that, that as part of an investigation, an ethics investigation, that you had to reimburse some three to thousand dollars. Those things were all true. If there was something related to abortion that it said that was wrong, I hope they pull it out. Anything wrong, I'm opposed to. But you know, this ain't this ain't a beanbag. Uh, we're going to come into a campaign. We're going to describe the differences right. between us. Wait, wait. Uh, but I, but I do sure. think. Ahead, but I do think the rhetoric, Mr. Speaker, I, I think it was a little over the top. You think my rhetoric was well, over the top, I, I, but your ads were totally reasonable. I, I just want to understand. I, I, no, again, I've taken the again, governor's Mr. advice. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, the, the super PACs that are out there running ads, with Ron Paul's, mine, yours. As you know, that is not my ad. I don't write that ad. I can't tell them well, not to. Well, how about to. this? Would you and, both, but, but would you I, both but agree but, to but take these super PAC ads Speaker, down? But Mr. Speaker, I, I wouldn't call some of the things you, you've called me public. I think that's just over the top. Right. Would you both agree that to, to request that these super PAC ads be taken down? David, wait a second. Come on, come on. I'm glad finally on this stage, weeks later, he has said, gee, if they're wrong, they should take them down. They would, of course, we've sent a letter in South Carolina saying, to warning the stations to just fact check them before they start running them. But I'm taking his advice. You know, I, we started to run his commercial from, from 1994, attacking Teddy Kennedy for running negative ads. We thought, no, that would be wrong. So instead, I, I agree with him. It takes broad shoulders to run. If you can't take the heat, get out of the kitchen. When the 27 and a half minute movie comes out, I hope it's accurate. I, would, I, the, I, I can say publicly, I hope that the, the Super PAC runs an accurate movie about Bain. It will be based on establishment newspapers like the Washington Post, the Wall Street Journal, the New York Times, Barron's, uh, Bloomberg News. And I hope that it's totally accurate and then people can watch the 27 and a half minutes of his career at Bain and decide right. for themselves. Let me ask you, Senator Santorum, we've talked some about the role of government, but the presidency is often called the bully pulpit. I wonder as president